You're watching Study with Sudhir. This is your digital classroom. My name is T.S. Sudhir. Let's look at the answer key for the ICSC class 10 physics question paper. Without a doubt, a rather tough paper, a very challenging paper, a very tricky paper and uh, the feedback from the physics teachers has been that it was rather harsh on the students. Question number one, the deviation produced by an equilateral prism does not depend on and the correct answer is option number B, the size of the prism. Question number two, the refractive index of a diamond is 2.4. It means that the speed of light, option number C is in a vacuum is 2.4 times the speed of light in the diamond. Okay, I'll go slowly because I need to look at the answers also. Question number three, an object of height 10 centimeters is placed in front of a concave lens of focal length 20 centimeter at a distance 25 centimeter from the lens. Is it possible to capture this image on the screen? And the correct option is option C, no, as the image formed will be virtual. Question number four, it's a, a diagram based question. A ray of light is incident on a glass slab ABCD as shown in the figure below. The emergent ray for this incident ray is option number A and Q. Question number 5. The color of white light which is deviated least by a prism is red. Option number C. Question number 6. The wavelength range of visible light is option number D 400 nm to 800 nm. Now the seventh question. In fact, there are four questions that Veena ma'am has told me uh, which were the four parts. Now, those will be your marks, final marks may well depend on how well you have done these four questions. Question number 7, 13, 20 and 24 of which two she said were easy, two were a little tricky and the main problem was in the specimen paper, these four parts were not interconnected but here they have made two or three parts interconnected. So, if you get one wrong, the chances of your going wrong in the other two are also high. So as far as the seventh question is concerned, so the interpretation and understanding of the question becomes critical to whether you have done it right or whether you have got it wrong. So seventh question, part one, the correct option is D, the image will be real and magnified. The second option, this type of lens can be used to correct hypermetropia option number A. Okay. An object on this I saw quite a few students kind of having an argument on which one would be right whether D in the front or P poles would be right but the correct answer is to correct hypermetropia. Third question, third part, an object is placed in front of this lens at a distance of 60 centimeter then the image distance from the lens with proper sign convention is plus 30 centimeter option number B. An object is placed in front of this lens at a distance of 60 centimeter then the magnification of the image the correct option is C minus 0.5. Question number 8 the relation between CGS and SI unit of force of moment of force is option number C. Okay option number C 1 nm equals 10 is to power 7 dyne centimeters. Question number 9, now the question number 9 is worded wrongly. The English is not correct because it says a coolie raises a load upwards against the force of gravity than the work done by the load. So as ma'am was saying work is not done by the load. So in that sense it is not worded correctly. So what the council will do as far as this particular question is concerned is for the council to decide but the correct answer to this one is negative work which is option C. Question number 10. The energy change during photosynthesis in plants in plants is like to chemical option B. Now question number 11 is another one where there is an issue with the kind of the balance position of, of a meter scale that has been shown. Uh, ma'am said, Veena ma'am said that the data is insufficient for students to actually solve this particular question.
question so the interpretation could vary and as a result the answer could also vary okay so in that sense since the data given by the council is insufficient i don't know whether they will kind of consider this for any kind of grace marks okay uh, as far as the correct answer to this would be answer a option number a yeah now uh, question number 12 a stone tied at the end of a string is whirled by hand in a horizontal circle with uniform speed now the first part of this question is a uh, centripetal force the second one uh, what is the direction of the above mentioned force uh, would be towards the center of the circular path which is which is option number a okay these are only two parts question number 13 let me just get the right one yeah question number 13 a body of mass 200 grams falls freely from a height of 15 meters now the first part of this is when the body reaches 10 meters above the ground its potential energy will be option number d 20 j 20 joules okay the gain in kinetic energy of the body when it reaches 10 meters above the ground will be second option 10 joules the total mechanical energy it will possess when it is just about to strike the ground will be 30 joules option number c yeah yeah the velocity with which the body will hit the ground is option number c question number 14 a woman draws water from a well using a fixed pulley the mass of the bucket and the water together is 10 kg the force applied by the woman is 200 newtons the mechanical advantage is and the correct answer to this given to me is 0.5 option number d a single fixed pulley question number 15 is used because it changes the direction of applied effort conveniently this is option number a question number 16 which has the uh, diagram asking the velocity ratio of arrangement has been given and the correct answer to this is 2 which is option number b 17th which one of the following is the correct mathematical relation the answer to 17th is power equals for force into velocity option number d yeah 18th question select a correct option with respect to echo depth sounding now here the correct option is c ultrasonic waves are used 19th which one of the following diagnostic methods use reflection of sound the correct answer to this is echocardiogram 20th question yet one, one another one of the several options one and this is from sound uh, this was a real googly this one was a real googly because it talks about two whistles per second but then uh, the echo is heard only one so the question is what happened to the second echo so in that sense ma'am also felt that this would have been extremely confusing for the students and the interpretation of a question like this is extremely tricky and this kind of a question this standard of a question is not expected it's not expected that a 10th class student would be able to answer it uh, properly okay an average 10th class student and you need frequency in order to calculate uh, as far as this particular question is concerned so as far as the 20th question is concerned the first option would be 0.5 seconds the second one the distance at which the boy is standing from the wall will be 80 meters which is option number d i hope i'm getting the options correctly yeah right option number d if the speed of sound is increased by 16 uh, ms minus 1 and the boy moves 4 meters away from the wall then in how much time will he hear the echo of the first whistle that is 0.5 seconds which is option number b and in which of the following timings of reflection of the whistle the echo cannot be heard the correct option is 0 0.05 seconds that is option number a the ratio of velocities 21st question the ratio of velocities of light of wavelength 400 nm and 800 nm in a vacuum 
this is question number 21 uh, is uh, option number A 1 is to 1. Question number 22, 1 joule, the uh, correct answer to question number 22 is 10, option number B, 10 is to 7, 10 to the power 7. Question number 23, a light body A and a heavy body B have the same momentum. Choose the correct statement from the following options. So, 23rd, first part, option number B, kinetic energy of body A is greater than the kinetic energy of body B. If the ratio of kinetic energies of A and B is 5 is to 2, then which of the following gives the mass ratio of the bodies respectively? Uh, the correct answer is 2 is to 5, option number C. 24th question, again one of the ones uh, the, which has multiple uh, questions as part of the 24th question. This is from the light chapter. The first part is the correct option is 47 degrees. Select a correct statement from the following for the second question. The, uh, the ray at the surface AD is not, is traveling along the radius of the curved part which is option number C. The angle of incidence on the surface BC is 43 degrees that is the right one and the critical angle of this material of glass is 43 degrees. Okay, Option number B. The last question which has two parts is the first the answer to the first question the angle C of the prism is 30 degrees that is the right answer option number D and uh, which of the following diagram shows the correct path of this ray till it emerges out of the prism is the option number B. So that is as far as this answer key is concerned. Uh, we will do a separate video on the challenges that the students faced with the physics paper both class 12 and class 10 and how the council has been rather unfair to the students. Uh, I, I think students have largely, a large number of students have come out of the physics paper feeling rather scarred and that is not a very good thing to do in a pandemic year where students have struggled, have had learning issues and struggled with practice, enough practice of numericals etc. I think the council could have been a little more considerate. Thank you very much for watching.